Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today we're going to look at uh, how we develop a pre-shot routine. This is something that's critical uh, to your golf, and you're going to learn a lot. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I've been a golf pro now for 32 years, and Everything I do in this channel is about helping you play better golf. So today I've uh, got the expert help. I've got Ashley Clinch, uh, performance psychologist, and I've got Rod, one of my clients. And today Ash is going to talk to us about how we can develop a really good pre-shot pre -shot routine. Over to you, Ash. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, really pleased to be here today. Pre-shot routine is, uh, is, is, is something that's critical to you playing more consistent, and, and better golf. And uh, we're gonna to work today with Rod uh, in developing a, a great pre-shot routine. A lot of us have a pre-shot routine that is, uh, works on good technical stuff, but what we actually wanna do is develop a pre-shot routine that helps our get set for the mind uh, and gives us the best chance of playing consistent, uh, successful golf. Okay, so when we do the pre-shot routine, should we be thinking about our grip or our latest move that we're going to do in the golf swing from the lesson last week? We, we, we should think about that, but we should think about that very early in the, in the pre-shot routine before we actually get well over the ball. Okay. So it's actually, you know, if we're thinking about certain technical things, yep. then uh, happy for you to think about that, but long before you get to actually hitting the shot. Okay, so yep. can you talk us through what we yep. need to do? So I, I, I was just sort of um, thinking before I came on today, like think about some of the great pre-shot routines of, uh, of world sport. Um, and uh, one of the ones that comes to mind is, is Johnny Wilkinson, who in the, in the Rugby League World Cup, do you remember his run? Yeah, yeah. yeah what, his, was, his was something along the long lines of that, so a lot of yep. people remember that. A lot of people remember uh, Raffers with his, uh, with, before he um, does a tennis shot. All of those are, developing a consistent pre-shot routine that helped them to give them the best opportunity to play a good shot or to kick a, kick a goal. And, and that's what we've got to do with our golf. So what we do is, is um, there's the three circles that we've got set up here. And each of them are the different stages of the pre-shot routine. So this first one is, uh, is what we call the thinking circle, mm -hmm. uh, which was designed and um, set up by two pros over in a uh, two professional golfers over in America called uh, Lynn Marriott and Pia Nielsen um, from Vision 54. And that this thinking circle is where we do all of our thinking about the golf shot. So if there are certain technical elements that we're trying to work on, mm -hmm. this is where we would think about it. Uh, if there's, we, we're actually uh, judging conditions, so where the wind's coming from, uh, and also Assessing how far we've got to the how far we've got to the ball. Yep. Uh, so we might actually get out a range finder and, uh, and and check how far we've got. Then from here we actually move to another circle, which is actually where we want to get a, a feel for the shot. Maybe have a couple of practice swings and um, get a feel for the shot. So here we'd actually get our club and, and have a few swings and actually create a feeling of what we want. And the feeling. So we're actually not thinking about the shot anymore. We're actually creating a feeling of maybe of balance or of a particular tempo uh, and, and things along those lines. So this last one is where we execute the shot. This is where we, this is our action box or action circle. And uh, we're hitting the shot and we're actually not thinking about it at all. We're actually still in that feeling mode and we actually get over the ball. It's probably the quickest part of our, of our pre-shot routine. So the first circle is where we probably spend the most amount of time. The, the second one is where we spend uh, the medium amount of time, maybe about 10 seconds. And then this one, we get over the ball and we want it to be not quick, but reasonably quick. We want to move through it to maybe have it here about, say, five seconds or something. Okay, like five seconds and yeah. then you press the trigger. Yep. Rod, when you normally play, do you do thing anything we've just, uh, Ash has just suggested there? I haven't uh, to that degree, no, in the past. Uh, my pre-shot routine relies mostly on uh, alignment, yep. uh, not too much about visualising the shot. So okay. I'm interested to actually participate in this exercise. Okay, and then when you're standing over the ball and you've, you're checking your alignment and you're ready to hit, 
Do you have technical thoughts going on at that point? Yes, unfortunately I do, and I think that might be detrimental to uh, the success of and the shop. And you know what? You've got a lot of friends out there, <laughs> because there's an awful lot of thinking goes into that box, and yeah. it really shouldn't. Yeah. So why don't we get a club, and we're gonna, Ash is going to talk you through what we do, and you're going to hit the shot for us. Sure. Okay, so talk us through what Rod needs to be doing now, Ash. Okay, so when we're in the thinking circle, we're actually... Uh, you come into this spot and we're actually looking at the conditions first of all, Rod. So what do you what do you notice about today? Yeah, so it's very clear, blue skies. There's a slight breeze that's coming from over my right shoulder. Yep. Um, very slight, but apart from that, it's, yeah, it's relatively calm. Okay. And how far, we've done a, a measurement, uh, how far have we got to the flag? So we've got about 135 metres to, to right. get to the flag. Yep. Okay. And, uh, and what type of, what shape of shot do you want to get? Um, I would like to hit a slight draw to, and this slight breeze just to let it hold up and keep it online. Okay, so here we, um, with this final part of it, now I want you to just visualise that shot in your mind. Yeah, yeah. Take a few moments to visualise that shot. Okay. Yeah. Got it in your mind? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we move forward to the next one, which is just to get a feeling for that shot. So you've got the shot in your mind but you're no longer thinking about it, you're actually feeling that shot in your mind. You might Ooh. take a couple of practice swings. Yep. Great. Okay. And now we move forward and you've got your um, your alignment right, which is what you normally do. Yeah. Yep. I'd like to have a look at that again. Yep. Do you want me to hit this? No. Yep. Yep. Well, oh, that was a bad swing. Can we do that again? You say it's a bad swing. No, I stumbled. I didn't have good balance on the end. Because of the... Yeah. Okay. You actually hit the shot that you pictured. Yeah, yeah but I just pulled it. It just there. didn't yeah. start out down yeah. the left-hand side. So it was reasonably successful. The way I look at that shot there is where don't you want to miss the green? Yeah. You don't want to miss it left, you're in the bunker. Yeah. So you've actually missed it in the right place. Yes. So it was successful from that point of view. Now, how does that pre-shot routine differ to what you normally do? Uh, it differs in the fact that I don't spend enough time back there. Okay. Um, you know, sort of assessing the conditions. Yep. Starting to actually have a bit of a visualisation about the shot that I want to play. Then um, I probably jump, normally I'd jump straight into actually having a swing. Yeah and then stepping up to the ball. So I think I'm missing out on that important step at the very beginning to actually get my mind set. Good, okay, right. let's go back and do it again. All right, Rod, we, we were involved in that last one. We're yeah. gonna step out of the picture and we're gonna get you to go through those three steps and then hit the shot. Excellent. You're on your own. Okay. Okay, it wasn't quite the shot that you're after, so that's okay. The important thing is you went through the three steps. Mm. You don't play this game for a living. You play once a week. You spend maybe one day practicing a week or a few minutes of that day practicing. You're going to hit bad shots. Yeah. The important thing is the more you do these three steps, it will feel comfortable and let's face it, you're uncomfortable, there's cameras on you, we're both watching you, you're in an unfamiliar environment. Yeah. So we're going to mark you not necessarily on where the ball goes, we're going to mark you on how you went through that pre-shot routine. How do you think you went? I, I, liked, I liked actually how calm you looked over the, uh, you know, moving through that. It, it looked like you had a sense of purpose and uh, uh, that you were very calm and that you were really clear about what you wanted, mm. which, was, um, which was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I thought you did a great job. Yeah. Don't worry about the end result. Yeah, yeah. The end result will get better. We're more interested in the process at the moment. Yeah. Well done. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining us today, Ash. And that was really insightful. So uh, what we need to do from here is work on those three steps ourselves, get 
familiar with them, practice them, don't worry about the end result, and I think you'll find uh, things get a lot better. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can click on the round avatar down the bottom there. You can get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. You can also sign up to my electronic newsletter at thegolfdoctor.com.au.